well, I can contact DTE, and DTE told me, you know, I'm on a fixed income, I'm on Social Security. And DTE told me, they said, you need a doctor's statement from us stating that, you know, you, you use medical equipment, oxygen machine, and breathing machines, and we can't shut your utilities off. But they came out and shut them off anyway. Mm -hmm. So now, I have no utilities. I can't use my breathing machine. I can't use my oxygen machine. And, you know, I think it's ridiculous. I just think it's ridiculous, you know, the way that they treat their customers. People get uh, that has serious medical conditions, they don't care about you. Yeah. You know, they have no, they just don't care. Well, I went down to DCC. Down River Community Down River Community, Community Center. Center and applied for the low energy assistance. They paid $1,250 toward my utility bill. And on top of that, East, uh, Detroit Edison overcharged me $493 on my electricity and uh, so they still shut my utilities off and I was paying uh, $312 a month budget and me and I'm on Social Security. I get $1,200 a month $750 that's for my rent you know so now they want me to pay another $1,900 before they come out and turn my utilities back on. After they collected almost $1,800. They got the news media and all these people advertising that, that they're, uh, they're here to help, but they're not here to help. They're, no one needs educated how to use electricity. I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to know that you need, like, you need utilities. Myself, I think they're just very unfair, mm -hmm. and they don't care about the low income. Mm -hmm. You know, you got these big corporates that own thousands and hundreds of thousands, and their lights are still on. Mm -hmm. But they don't care to come out and whack you off, and you and you live on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous.